If you want to paint some mole rat critters to pop out of the earth on unsuspecting miniatures, then I'm going to show you a super simple paint scheme that will have these painted and on the tabletop in one evening. All the paints used are linked in the video description, but let's jump in. I primed these miniatures with a standard black rattle can and then base coated the skin of the mole rats with tanned flesh by Army Painter. I used an airbrush here just for speed, but you could just get a large brush and apply this to the skin quite quickly too. Don't feel the need to be super tidy here, we just want a nice even base coat. The recesses of the skin on the mole rats is usually pretty dirty. They spend most of their time burrowing, so I got some Agrax Earthshade and generously applied this to the skin. You'll see some pretty big pools of Agrax here. What I would say is use your own artistic judgement and remove any excess until you're happy with it. I was okay with some of these pools being there, but I didn't want the whole mini to look like that. While the wash is drying, I grabbed Uniform Grey by Army Painter and began painting the stony areas of the base. And while that was drying, I grabbed Leather Brown by Army Painter and painted the dirt. Now once both of those layers were dry, I gave the base a light wash with Nuln Oil by Citadel just to add some depth to the recesses and make the base colours look a little less flat. Painting the base is a great way to kill time while the Agrax Earthshade is drying on the skin because we don't want to move on to the next few steps until that's done. Now for the teeth, I could have gone into a little bit more detail on these by adding some Agrax to it just to dirty it down or maybe a little bit of yellow just to add a little bit of a staining, but in the interest of time, I didn't. I just grabbed some Flayed One Flesh by Citadel and gave the teeth and the claws a nice even coat, but there is room for you to add more detail here if you wanted to. Once all of that was dry, we get onto the final steps, which are dry brushing. First off, I got Army Painter's Cobalt Skin and gave the skin on the Mole Rat a dry brush. This will start to pick out the highlights on the skin, especially along the back and the spine, but I want us to go just one step further. Just to add some final highlights to the skin, I took some Flayed One Flesh from Citadel and very lightly, very, very lightly dry brushed this onto the Mole Rat skin. Now while we have this paint out, I equally very lightly dry brush this over the base just for some added texture and to pick out the highlights of the dirt and stone. And that is how to very quickly and simply paint your mole rats in one evening. If you like speed painting though and radioactive critters, you may want to check this video out next.